You're gifted 24 straight hours where you and your pets are suddenly able to understand each other and have real conversations like your old BFFs just catching up on lost time. What would you want to tell them and how would you want to spend those hours with them? Write down every single quality of life improvements I can make for you. Let's go find you your perfect food to eat, let's make sure there aren't any aches and pains you have that we can't address. Tell me all of your favorite spots, what you like, what you don't. Literally everything. That's it for me. Learn everything they want and give it to them forever. This is the answer I was looking for. Also I'd like to establish a system where my cat would later be able to tell me if the pain is too much. She's 19 and has arthritis. We give her meds, and keep increasing them, but it's progressive and the vet says at some point it will be too far along to really dull the pain. I'd love to be able to check in with her and make sure I'm not keeping her alive beyond what she wants to be. And also to apologize for all the meds and tell her how much she means to our family, I think she knows that part. I would tell them that I love them, and that they're good, and I would explain that I don't cut their nails or vacuum the floor to hurt and scare them, it's just stuff I need to do. I would want to know what their lives looked like before they got to my family, if they can remember it. I would talk to them about funny stories from when they were young, and hopefully they'd have funny stories from when I was young. I would also like to hear what gossip they might know because people still talk when pets are around. I would want to ask them if there are ways I've been caring for them wrong, how I can care for them better and enrich their lives more. Are they hurting in any places that aren't obvious? They're getting old, so I just want them to be happy for as many years as they have left. I would explain how much I love him, it's just that I'm terribly allergic to him so I can only pet him right before I can commit to washing my whole arm, and maybe the clothes I have on. Why is this about to make me cry? This is so sweet. I wish I could talk to my pups. She's five years old now which is crazy. I love her. Stop freaking out when I left the house. I will be back, like always. LOL yes. This one is probably the most important. Uck separation anxiety is real and so heartbreaking, if only they knew. But what if someday you're not? Like you get in an accident and die and your buddy never knows what happened. I think about that a lot and it breaks my heart. Me to them, quit eating actual piles of shit including your own. Them likely to me, then feed me more. There's a product called Forbid that you can buy online. It's an odorless, flavorless powder that you mix into their food. Somehow it makes actual shit taste worse than shit, so they'll no longer be interested in the act of coprophagy. It works very well. I had to put my cat down last Saturday. I wouldn't need 24 hours, just 10 seconds to tell her thanks for hanging out with me and that I love her. Sorry for this huge rambling reply, but your answer just made me think a lot. My cat passed away in April of this year, just past her 7th birthday. What I wouldn't give to have another 24 hours with her. When she passed away, I was sad, of course I wished so much that I could have had more time with her but it hadn't really hit me at the time. My mother's gotten herself a new cat since, who's adorable, but he's not my cat, you know? And every time I interact with him, and see how different he is from what my cat was like, it breaks me up a little more she was really the first cat I'd ever had, and so I'm realizing the things that weren't just that's her, being a cat, but were actually the wonderful parts of her personality. I'd learn their language so I can talk to them even after the 24 hours. Big brain time. Then train them to become my spies. Plot twist, all you need to do outside of those 24 hours is learn to read their body language, and encourage them to express themselves. If you show them you understand when they want you to do something, they are more likely to express themselves more in the future. Are you in pain? Do you want to keep going? I love you and I am happy to keep you as long as you are happy and want to stay. Exactly this, our 13-year-old cat is about to have his second course of chemo for a cancer we've been told we can't beat, so more than anything I'd want to explain what's going on and ask how hard he wants to fight it or if he's in more pain that he's letting on. That is the one thing I would like to ask my pet rats before putting them down. Rats hide pain incredibly well. It's an extremely hard decision. I'd take mine up to the mountains, hike, camp, and just get to know the real them. What makes them happy? Sad? Why do they pee on my husband's pillow? I would tell them how much I truly love them and always will. How happy they make me. Why I don't want them barking at the mail carrier in the very nice UPS guy. Oh that. I do that just to piss him off. He makes funny faces when he I pee on his pillow. Regarding the peeing. Could be a UTI. I've had a couple pets in the past who started peeing on my bed or pillow, seemingly out of nowhere. Turns out, that was their way of saying something is wrong with me, I think. Both had low-grade UTIs when I took them to the vet. Food for thought anyway. To figure out what name he gave me. Also what their real names are. 
I would ask them to help me understand their language and convert it into a written form that could be used forever as a way to talk to animals. Tell her not to worry about her surgery coming up and I love her and please don't leave me I need you. Holy shit, I'm getting surgery? Ro ro. She's been a do wonderfully, I know it. Good luck less than three. Why do you eat so fast and puke on my belongings? Why? Could we just have, like, a designated vomit spot? I'll get you a special bowl. I literally LO led just now. One of life's greatest mysteries. Just feed him smaller portions throughout the day, man. Hid you bite me you bitch him feeding her lazy ass. Hid you chop my balls off Dave? Where are my testicles, Summer? Maybe the reason why animals don't like the vet is they remember a human in a white coat took their balls off, and whenever they go back, they're thinking, he's here to finish the job. I would explain to them how much I love them and how they've saved my life many times. I would ask what happened to them before they came into my life. They're both rescues and we have made huge progress over the last three years, but they were pretty traumatized when I adopted both of them. We would spend the day talking about our favorite things. I would ask for the names and addresses of the owners that abused them both. And I would go John Wick on those motherfuckers. ONG imagine if they could tell us they're abusers, that's a dangerous path to go down but so many evil people would be gone from this world. Honestly, it would be so fun though. Just this post makes me want to talk to my dog. LOL wouldn't it? I was thinking about it because I used to want to be Dr. Doolittle growing up. Who am I kidding? I still want to be Dr. Doolittle, but today was the first day in over three months that I had to go back to the office, and these few months my cat niece has spent every day with me while I worked from home, so today was weird. And I got home, and asked her how her day was, and if she thought I betrayed her. She just looked at me with disgust and then 30 minutes had gone by before I even said hello to other members of my family. And it wouldn't seem so crazy if only we could just talk to each other so we aren't left playing the guessing game, but I am 95% sure they actually fully understand us and choose not to engage because then we'd never shut up. <laughs> Write down every single quality of life improvements I can make for you. Let's go find you your perfect food to eat, let's make sure there aren't any aches and pains you have that we can't address. Tell me all of your favorite spots, what you like, what you don't. Literally everything. That's it for me. Learn everything they want and give it to them forever. What about everything you want bro? What makes you think your pet won't be asking you the same questions? I'd spend way too much time working out the grudges between my cats. Same with my guinea pigs. They used to cuddle and hang out, but now they anger dance at each other. Someone insulted the other's mother. As to be. My mom's not fat, Fred, she's fluffy. That they saved my life on multiple occasions this year. Two little sister puppies I literally fed before myself and kept working to keep a roof over their head. That I saved them in a lockdown frenzy and am sorry they were so little when they left their family but I know they are thriving and I promise to find their fam again when we can travel again. You're their family now.